Hi Flutterflow developers. If you're using Superbase as your backend in Flutterflow, this video is for you. You might want to know about how to upload files, photos, or media to Superbase because Superbase also offers storage. So let's see how to use it in Flutterflow. First, open your Superbase dashboard and go to the storage option. Click on create a new bucket. In the bucket name field, write a bucket name. In my case, Flutterflow bucket. So our first bucket is created. Here you can create folders to organize the content you upload from Flutterflow. You can also manually upload files here and use them in Flutterflow. So let's create a bucket policy for Flutterflow. For this demo, I'm going to enable everything, but in production, make sure to create policies according to your specific needs. Now open Flutterflow. Let's connect our Superbase instance to our Flutterflow project. Let's create a page. Let's create a button for selecting the media file that we want to upload. On button, open action editor, click add new action, search upload, select upload and save media. In the upload type, select Superbase. In the bucket name field, we need to enter the name of the bucket that we previously created in Superbase. In the directory, we can specify the location where we want to upload the files. Like uh, if you want to upload profile pictures, create a folder called profile photo or else and use that directory here. Let's create a folder in our bucket. I'm going to write it profile pic. Now enter that directory name here. In media source, select any method that you want. Here you can allow video if you want. Enable this if you want to upload multiple files at once. Now let's run our app and test if it's working or not. As you can see, I'm able to upload media files to this directory. Now let's see how can we access that image after uploading. As you can see in the action flow, there is an output variable that we can use. Let's add an image widget in our page. Now in image path, select widget state, then select uploaded media URL. It's done. Let's test it. As you can see, we are able to upload the image and show in the app. Thanks for watching the video. If it helped you, please like the video. Your support will encourage me to create more videos like this.